Krasnodar, Russia, with parliamentary elections in Russia around the corner, canvassers in the southern city of Krasnodar are asking passers-by to write letters to their candidate, who has no way to meet them. That's because Kremlin critic Andrei Pavlovarev is behind bars just down the road. Arrested at the end of May, Pavlovarev supporters say he was caught in a dragnet that has seen Russia's opposition dismantled ahead of state Duma elections this weekend. With household names like Alexei Navalny in prison, his allies in exile and lesser-known activists barred from running or jailed like Pavlovarev, the Kremlin is set to maintain its stranglehold on the legislature. In a handwritten letter to AFF from detention center No. 1, surrounded by barbed wire top concrete walls, Pavlovarev conceded his election chances were minimal. He said his campaign, managed by Mil Viadict, one of his lawyers and run by several dozen volunteers from Krasnodar, Moscow and his hometown of St. Petersburg, was a platform for his message. I want people who learn about my campaign to understand that the moment has arrived when those who speak the truth are tossed in prison just for their words, Pavlovarev wrote. The 39-year-old announced last year he planned to run in Moscow. But when Navalny returned to Russia from Germany in January after recovering from a poisoning he blames on the Kremlin, the authorities launched a crackdown. Pavlovarev was a target. He had worked with organizations founded by the exiled Kremlin critic Mikhail Khodorkovsky including the pro-democracy group Open Russia outlawed in 2017. Yanked off a Warsaw bound plane in St. Petersburg in May, Pivovarev was whisked, kilometers, miles, south to Krasnodar and charged with involvement with an undesirable organization. He is facing six years in prison in a case resting on a Facebook post penned from Krasnodar in 2019, voicing support for a Khodorkovsky aligned activist running in local elections. In his letter, which he signed candidate in handcuffs, Pivovarev said the authorities wanted to shut my mouth. That's why the case was launched in Krasnodar, far from Moscow and St. Petersburg, he wrote from prison. Pavlovarev is the only opposition candidate still running among at least seven who planned to ballot but were arrested. The Liberal Yabloko party included Pavlovarev on their Krasnodar list in a humanitarian gesture, it said. But analyst Alexander Kainev says he has no chance of being elected. Yabloko, Kainev noted, has never won more than 2% of the vote in Krasnodar, a city of some 1 million people and a stronghold of President Vladimir Putin's United Russia Party. United Russia seemed so sure of victory its local office told AFF it wasn't running any campaign events in Krasnodar less than two weeks before the vote. Kainev said authorities had allowed Yabloko to back Pavlovarev so the party could pick up some of the protest vote. Yabloko is seen as part of Russia's token opposition that serves to attract liberal discontent. But, Kainev says, the authorities are relying more on blunt tactics to secure a win this weekend. The authorities have made a final bet on legitimacy by brute force, he told FF. In their clampdown, authorities have targeted dissenting voices across the board, designating most leading independent media as foreign agents and slapping the label with Soviet era echoes on a top election monitor. Pavlovarev's campaign members have not escaped the pressure. A volunteer in Moscow and citizen of ex-Soviet Tajikistan who lived in Russia most of his life, 22-year-old Said Anvar Suleymanov said he left the country earlier this month after learning he faced an entry ban. He said it was a 40-year ban and showed AFF a screenshot of an interior ministry response saying it had grounds for blocking his return, though it gave no reason. The interior ministry did not respond to AFF's request for comment. Roman Pilipenko, a 27-year-old lawyer in Krasnodar, said he joined Pavlovarev's campaign because he wanted to highlight injustice and warn Russians their county is sliding into hard autocracy. He stood near a supermarket some 100 meters down the road from detention center No. 1 talking to pensioners and teenagers who stopped to ask who was featured on the cardboard cutout of Pavlovarev. No one had heard of him. Pilipenko told AFF the team's priority during the election will be vote monitoring, describing it as the only way to keep authorities from falsifying ballots. Not everyone is convinced the opposition will succeed. Across the street from the volunteers, a watermelon seller watched as wind knocked over the cardboard cutout. I blocked test why.